Now, in this particular question, if we take a look uh, at the last line of the question, what is the likely diagnosis? So he's asking about the diagnosis in this patient and uh, looking at the image, I am not able to make any diagnosis looking at this image. So I don't know what the examiner is talking about. I don't have any option. I have to look uh, at the options quickly. AV malformation, axillary vein thrombosis, axillary artery aneurysm, compartment syndrome. Okay, so the first three options, they are related to some vascular abnormality. Whether it's an AV fistula type of thing or a vein thrombosis or an artery aneurysm. And the fourth one is a compartment syndrome. Let me take a look at the question quickly. Eight year old, admitted overnight, following an emergency open reduction and internal fixation of a right supracondylar fracture. Okay, so this is a chupi si baby, 8 year old girl who has uh, got her treatment for the supracondylar fracture of the humerus, suppose. Now she is complaining of severe pain and tingling in her left hand. On examination, there is a pain on passive extension of the fingers. Now, the most important keyword in this question is pain on passive extension of the fingers. Pain on passive stretching is a classical feature of compartment syndrome. Pain on passive stretching is a classical feature of compartment syndrome. So we'll be going with the option compartment syndrome, right? This is how we need to just identify the keywords quickly. Now this cannot be a case of AV malformation. Why in AV malformation there will be pain on passive stretching? Same way we talked about the axillary vein thrombosis. Now vein thrombosis, there would be something like DVT he is talking about, there would be pain and swelling, but there won't be pain on passive stretching. Artery aneurysm will not be having this type of uh, presentation. That means we can easily rule out the first three options. So the correct answer, because of the keyword in the question, pain on passive stretching of the fingers, the answer will be compartment syndrome.